Guys, the version 5.2 special live stream is about to happen for Genshin Impact, and I'm very excited because we already saw some of the dev notes that are happening with the treasure compass. We know that there's some stuff with artifacts coming, and then, of course, we also know that the characters coming in this version is Chaska and Aurora. And we're going to get to the bottom of that, but if you like the content, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when something else happens on this channel and then don't forget to check out gamer subs make sure to use code tystra for 10 percent off we got five seconds until this stream goes live we're gonna go ahead and switch over here and get ready we're live on youtube as well watching this with the lovely chat i just got done talking about a very sentimental story to me uh maybe making people cry and literally a minute before we start <laughs> like that's that's ultimately what it was ah these guys all right well, that gives me a little bit more time, but we were talking about a bunch of stuff. We had a lot of fun. Uh, my internet went out, which was crazy, right? Um, and yeah, so fantastic stuff. So let me take a look at chat real quick. Uh, damn you, baby. We, we did, I did tell a very, uh, very sentimental story about me and my aunt who took me in as a kid. Asshole kid, bro. That's some hard you had to go through. Without, yeah, I mean, true. Chat, let's give time. Oh, thank you. Give it hugs back, everybody. I've been at uh, I've been at therapy too long. We love you, Tystra. I hope you, we can meet you soon so I can hug you. Oh, bro, guys, 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 you guys are awesome. Uh, you you guys are some of the best chat I've had. So, anyways, we got about fifteen seconds until peak. So we're gonna full screen this, and guys, let's see if Genshin is cooking this time comparatively to ZZZ's release with Yanagi. I'm actually very stoked to see what they come up with. Let's see it. Oh, we're starting off with the trailer. Let's go. We're a tribe of warriors. In ancient times, we were responsible for patrolling and defending all of Natland. And that's Chaska. We're going to bird country, so boys and girls. Still managing to sow discord. They're like little chickens. If you want to resolve a conflict through dialogue. God, she's so hot. You get to what? Okay, that's actually so dope. You get to ride a gun? <laughs> what? It looks like a gun. Aurora Rod, let's go. That's that's the homie. Okay. Five hundred years later, mystery surfaced again. Oh, what's going on here? I worry that we risk repeating the mistakes of the Cinder City. Oh no, another tree. Audio kind of low. We'll turn it up. We'll turn it up. Be free. That should be better. Take me up. Oh, it's another unicorn that we have to fight. Oh, awesome. Another unicorn. Another electric unicorn. Bro, what? That burst actually looks so dope. It's either your end or mine. Before the final. Okay. I can dig that. Hey, we got our first code. I'm going to type it in. All right. So first things first, Chaska's alt looks absolutely bonkers. The fact that you can ride a gun is absolutely insane to me. Okay. The fact that we could literally ride a gun is bonkers, but that's so freaking cool, dude. Uh, trailer looks nice. Um, I don't know about the story. Um, I'm kind of indifferent. I'm kind of indifferent to it, but we'll see. Well, I got to know more about the story. Every time we've had a story update or, you know, Genshin's 5.0 series, I've been relatively pleased. So I can't really say anything like, oh, it's bad. You know what I mean? So we'll see how it goes. You could ride my gun. Hey, yo, chill, buddy. Chill. Is the audio uh, better, Zero hey, Osama? Travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.2. We can't program. use the code. I'm Gabe from the Loke team. And I'm Kai. We meet again. Why can't we use the code? Whoa, a cuckoo sore. Want to join us? Hey, it's a chimkin. Come out and say hello. There's like, feels like there's I'm no Archon sure Quest. Uh, I think, it, I think it is an Archon Quest. She approves of your compliment. Hey, I didn't know you could speak Saurian. <laughs> oh, I can't. But I can make an educated guess based on her body language. 
Whoa. If you can make it higher, I'll make it a little bit higher. This one? Adult cuckoosaurs are usually very proud creatures. There we go. But there that are should be always exceptions. Well, let's go. Well, since our cuckoosaur friend kicked things off for us, there we go. I know just the place to start. The Flower Feather Clan. All right, let's do it. All right, that should be good. Cuckoosaurs live among the Flower Feather Clan, which is suspended high above the mountains. Oh, okay. This so is this is going to be warriors, mainly in the air. That's and dope. most of their people can command the power of the skies. It was the Flower Feather Clan's ancient duty to patrol and safeguard both, the entire uh, region well, of Natman. Are both the Chaska, Sitlali, and Auroron in the same clan? I can't remember. Intel and I can't remember if they're both in the same clan. To the nation. Though the circumstances are different now, the tribe never forgot its origins. They still hold trials to assemble the fastest teams in the tribe. The trials test a pilot's skill and teamwork with the Cuckoosaurs. Oh, okay. I'm That's so weird. pumped about these Cuckoosaurs. Better? All right, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> yeah, Cuckoosaurs are the proudest out of all the Saurians. They know that they're the kings of the sky. Cuckoosaurs can consume phlogiston to climb higher or perform a horizontal roll in midair. Holding the sprint button allows them to enter an accelerated glide state after a horizontal roll. In addition, they can even use phlogiston wind tunnels to quickly cover great distances. Okay, okay that's so cool. I'm assuming that cuckoosaurs are really hard that's, to take. That's kind of dope. Yeah, that's true. You need to prove yourself in some worthwhile feat. Like I think honestly, that is much better than flight. the other two. That's the only or the way other three. to become a true cuckoosaur rider. Or no? Wow, that's so yeah, strict. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. I like the cuckoosaur well, okay. more. Now that we've got a glimpse of the Flower Feather Clan, it's time for a quiz. What? Already? <laughs> yep. I hope you're prepared. Every tribe in that land has a unique way of communicating with their Saurian companions. The members of the Flower Feather Clan use a special item to summon their cuckoosaurs. What is that item? A pocket um, poos. Uh, uh, I'm just a saying. A basket filled with their favorite foods? Here's a hint. We just saw the answer in the previous video. Oh, uh, it was I, a I pocket uh, horn. Ding, ding, ding. Cuckoosaurs live far from the tribe and from <laughs> each other. So in order to summon them, the tribe's people use whistles and horns to produce loud noises. That's cool. So there's your overview of cuckoosaurs. Maybe they sound a little unapproachable compared to other Saurians. We're spending a lot worry, of Cowboy. time on the cuckoosaur and how we summon them. Chaska, the flower Thank God. The Let's go. Peacemaker can help mediate the conflict. Let's Peach go. mentioned that her method of mediation is silent. God, she is parts. so fine, is bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's only in special cases. I love her Most ears. I love her Chaska red hair. I love her blue interview. eyes. Everyone I love her silky smooth skin. Skin. So people usually I want to live in her skin. No. Their differences when she shows up. No, but she's oh, hot, dude. So she I don't care what anybody says. Conflicts between humans and Saurians. She keeps the peace between people too. Exactly. Chaska was corrupted by abyssal power as a child, so she has. You're on guaranteed. Let's fight, go, Dami. She knows how to rein it in. Right. I could bring her she in. She was abandoned as a baby. Mm. It seems like she's been through a lot. Yeah, but luckily for her, the Cuckoosaurs took her in and raised her as one of their own. In addition to hunting and flying, Chaska gained a lot of unique combat experience from her Saurian childhood. When Chaska is in your party, oh, here we the go. monsters will restore phlogiston to your party. Oh, While okay, she's that's in the cool. Night Soul's blessing state, Chaska oh. can ride and control her gun like a Cuckoosaur. The Soul Sniper doesn't just increase her movement speed and resistance to interruption, it also allows her to get a better angle on her enemies. Wow, that mid-air perspective is what so What the hell? Cool. That's it so freaking so cool, actually. Yeah. And Chaska's fierce when she's in the zone. In the Night Soul's Blessing state, Chaska's normal attacks deal animo damage to enemies in Okay, front of her. she's Unleashing so sick. A charged attack in the state will cause Chaska to enter a special aiming mode. This allows her to Bro, lock this is to a so set cool actually. Enemies within range and fire up to 6 shadow hunt shells which deal animo damage upon impact. In addition, for Bro, every that's pyro, actually pyro, so pyro, sick. Pyro, or electro character in your party, one of Chaska's shadow hunt shells will undergo a Whoa! Okay. Type of okay. I Whoa, dig this character no already. So Chaska I love her. I am summoning for her based on the characters in her party. 
Mm. And since she's an animal character, she can swirl them at the same so time. So literally, Cryo, Hydro, so, Electro, yeah, know, right? and the Pyro Universe will get has this. A similar function too. Chaska fires a gale-splitting Soul Seeker shell during her burst, which deals animo damage. The attack then splits into six Soul Seeker shells, which continue to attack nearby enemies. These shells can also Bro, elemental the damage. animation on that burst so is cool. so cool. I no wonder she's one of the strongest warriors in her tribe. Speaking Bro, her she's tribe, gonna be so much fun. The Flower Feather Clan are for She's gonna be so sure, much fun. But we should also shed some light on those who aren't as skilled. Oh, are you talking about the wingless? That's what the tribe calls people who fail the flight trials, right? Mm -hmm. They're the challengers who fail to earn the recognition of a Kukosaur. Exactly. But the name doesn't indicate that those people are weak or deserve to be cast aside. The Flower Feather yes. Clan has its own definition of strength. There's a tacit understanding that the wingless are supposed to be protected until they can fly by themselves. But that assumption is challenged in Tribal Chronicles Tlalokan. Someone will dare to ask, what if Bro. you didn't need a cuckoo sword to fly? If I need to build her rules, ASAP. Then maybe there wouldn't be any wingless to begin with. Now, I need to summon her ASAP. The right path is for us I to need discover. Her. Chaska will also be there to help us find the answer. So, She's so be cool. Be sure to check out Chaska's. Like her, her whole ability set happens. is so cool. Is Do I have time to farm Supremos before they drop? Yeah, you have time. Ah. Remember how I mentioned that Chaska was raised by Kukusaurs? Yeah, tell us about it. <laughs> her Saurian mother will make an appearance in this quest. Wow, Even she has a bird she's mom. Joined human society, Chaska still goes to visit her Saurian mother on occasion, especially when she's she like, "Hi, mom." A tough situation. Oh, so Chaska still has a soft side, even though she's a fearsome warrior. We're in high heels. <laughs> Definitely. <I'm sold. laughs> The Flower Feather Clan is also so it is our conquest. Okay, our conquest, conquest four. Chapter five interlude. Rebuilding and everything. All fires Makes sense. fuel the flame. The tribe is facing a crisis, and they'll need the traveler's help to find a solution. What kind of crisis? Well, the Flower Feather Clan suffered the worst of the abyssal contamination during the battle in version 5.1. It's not just the human body that can't withstand high concentrations of abyssal power. Mm -hmm. For most people, it also damages the mind. Many members of the Flower Feather Clan are suffering from the mental repercussions of the Abyss, and the tribe is in desperate need of aid. Iansan will be there too. After rebuilding her own tribe, the Collective of Plenty, she's traveling around Natland to help those in need. The people of Natland really value unity, don't they? No one fights alone. Right. That's one of my favorite things about Natland. Oh, wait. It looks like the captain will also be there. Yes, the captain will also Capitano. offer to the tribe. He's a homie. You may pick up on I think he's going to be summonable at this point. Pay close attention to what he has to say. I do think the he might be summonable. He rarely gives away too much information in his regular interactions, but his secrecy here seems a little peculiar. So, keep an eye out, but of course, restoring Natland's fighting spirit remains the top priority. I'm very surprised they haven't After released all, the Onsen yet. Isn't over yet. I figured they the would release the Onsen with Chaska around. instead of Auroron. Very important battle but with how the uh, Archon quest went with the last update, it makes sense. Before. But the I'm still surprised. The clan is pretty close to the Masters of the Nightwind, where the Ictomosaurs live. That tribe could be another good place to recover from the battle. Oh yeah, let's check it out. If you head west from the Stadium of the Sacred Flame and go past the Towering Wall, so it's weird how they're doing this layout, the right? Of the mysterious masters. So it went from Nautilus. talking about the Kukusaurs to Chaska, and now we're talking about the actual overworld. At night. If you venture Instead of Aurora, further, then you might encounter the tribe's Wat Ectomosaur Elder or one of the many shamans who can communicate. Oh, wait, with so spirits. they're not part of the same. I even heard that the witch doctors right. who live there can help cleanse your spirit. Oh. Plus, oh, I see why, because this is really going to. Incredible. Okay. In fact, there's something special about this one. Can you figure it out, travelers? It's a bird. It's kind of tricky, right? Well, don't worry. The Ectomosaurs can help us out. Oh, Ectomosaurs okay. are known for their wisdom. They can use their unique sight to detect things that can't be seen through normal mains. Whoa. Okay. okay. Right. 
Iktomisaurs are especially skilled at detecting ley lines and phlogiston. They can absorb power from phlogiston objects to enhance their abilities. Doing so allows them to jump higher, move faster, or even obtain surprising rewards. Ectomasaurs can also extract information from graffiti art to create special objects. Oh, I bet that'll come in handy for solving puzzles. Definitely. Probably. Especially in Tribal Chronicles. Because now we're going to see a Which will become available in version 5.2. The first two acts feature a lot of intriguing puzzles. Oh, so this is going to be so a world quest. So be sure quest. to check them out, travelers. Some of them will require the help of an ectomisaur, and others can be solved on your own. I noticed that ectomisaurs can perform fast-paced jumps when they have enough phlogiston, and it looks like so much fun. Do we know Compared to actually riding a cuckoo sword, I don't know. Saurian, I mean. Yes, but it is a cooler Auroran design. Auroran can do it too. Auroran! Like the Ictomosaurs, Auroran has the ability to rise into the air. Bro, actually, so that's so cool, being able to jump in the air and then do it like arrows. Shot, like bros Legolas, but better. Speaker state, allowing him to extract power from Natlan's graffiti and runes. Speaking of Auroran, I was honestly super surprised by his personality. Before the 5.1 Archon quest, I thought that he looked like a stern, stoic, and harsh type You would of think, kid. but he's a child. But as it turns out, he's just a sweet kid. He's actually yeah. two years old. It's kind of unexpected, right? Is he really that sweet, though? Just to think about all the sneaking around behind his granny's back. Ah, uh, <laughs> true. The tribe's people of the Masters of the Nightwind are known for being eccentric. But Auroran really takes it to the next level. Yeah, it sounds like he does things his own way. I he does wonder things if that his way. To his combat abilities. It does. Auroran is a bit different from the Natland characters we've met so far. Okay. He doesn't need to depend on the Night Soul's blessing state to gain Night Soul points, and he can maintain the Night Soul's blessing state even while he's off field. Ah, hmm. that does sound different from the other Natland characters. So, how do his abilities work? Let me start by explaining how Auroran gains Night Soul points. This can happen in multiple ways. For example, Auroran can gain Night Soul points when one of his party members triggers a Night Soul burst. Oh, he can also gain okay. them when other party members deal hydro or electro attacks to enemies after oh, Auroran unleashes Oh, okay, so you spell. definitely want to have him in then a... It sounds like he works uh, well with hydro and electro characters. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hydro electro and character. in combat, when enemies take damage from electro charged reactions or other party members deal Night Soul aligned damage, Auroran can consume Night Soul points to enter the Night Soul's blessing state and trigger the hypersense effect, dealing electro damage. Oh, I see. Okay, that's so a really cool you need idea. To pair him with the right characters if you want him to gain Night Soul points, enter the Night Soul's blessing state. So yeah, you'll want to have a Shalonan. Exactly. Though I should mention that Auroran doesn't need to be on the field Milani. to trigger the hypersense effect. Wait, he can trigger it even while he's off field? That sounds really useful. Totally. His elemental burst provides a convenient way to deal damage. So he has a four star. The party. He has a four star for sure. performs an ancient reach roll with his burst to summon a supersonic oculus, which taunts nearby enemies to draw them in. Once they're up close, the oculus releases a sound wave to deal damage. That should be great for crowd control. Yes. With Auroran in your party, dealing with large groups of enemies should be a lot easier. That's kind of cool. And speaking of making things easier, Auroran can what, also uh, What did the, the sushi experience. say to the bee with Sabi? the gliding speed of your characters. Awesome. Auroran really cherishes his friends. I mean, if we're going for Chaska, there's no point sure in getting Auroran for faster uh, gliding, okay? Cool. So we introduced two of the upcoming regions in this update the Flower Feather Clan, and the Masters of the Nightwind. But there's more. Version 5.2 actually introduces another new region. Oh, wow. It's so called we get... Ochkanatlan. Oh, I think we caught a glimpse of this ancient city when we were looking at the Flower Feather oh, Clan. It's really okay. beautiful from mm. far away, but those clouds look kind of ominous. Great, three it new areas for, abandoned. like, freaking... Is it dangerous? Yes. This is a restricted area in that uh, land due to its severe abyssal contamination. The worst and thing about eating it a seems clock. uninhabited. Over the years, many adventurers have come here in search of treasure or uh, to slay the dragon. What sword Unfortunately, is that? none of them what have ever sword? returned. The that was good. The clan that often was good. sends riders uh, to patrol the area and to that prevent people from getting too good. close. Wait, did you say slay the dragon? 
Yeah. Dude, we're actually gonna I fight know a we introduced some adorable Saurians earlier, but this creature is actually really terrifying. Oh. It is that occupies the, is this that the pyro city dragon? and guards it fiercely. If it detects an intruder, then it will attack without hesitation. Okay, that's pretty concerning. It's easy to take human Saurian coexistence for granted these days, but it actually took generations of effort to reach this point. This relationship wasn't nearly so harmonious in the ancient past. Travelers will need to explore Ochkanat land to uncover the reason behind this dragon's rampage. Of course, travelers won't have to do this alone. Here, take a look. Oh, what's that? This is a very important no, companion not who will help again. us explore Ochkanat land. His name is Kokui. As for his power, well, why don't you take a guess? Okay, um, uh, is he our moral support? You know, maybe he could make a cute noise every now and then to cheer us up. <laughs> hey, let's not put our Tapetlasaur friend out of a job. Little one works really hard. Okay, then I've got nothing. Remember how I mentioned that Oshkanatlan is heavily corroded by the Abyss? Well, that's where Kokui comes in. We can use his power to clear Abyssal contamination. Follow the direction oh, okay. indicated by his That's a little bit better. I thought it was going to be like uh, the uh, little dragon power. boy from Once Kokui has uh, enough power, Sumeru. you can take him to track down the Sweet evil snail. dragon. People don't like what fast food. Little guy. I know, right? Now, travelers can explore Ochkanatland with two companions, Kokui and Little One. In fact, I've heard there's even a special token around here that can enable Little One to traverse a volcano. Hmm. A new adventure with Little One awaits Volcanoes. in version 5.2. This update will bring us one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the I mean, Little it's cool past. to get three new areas, but I still gotta get the other three areas at 100%. Help us explore Ochkanatlan. For example, with the help of a Koholosaur, we can evade source mechanism attacks. With the help of an Ikitomisaur, we can solve certain puzzles. With the help of a Kukusaur, we might even be able to chase down the evil dragon. But we'll leave the rest for you to discover, travelers. Wait, are, are those some kind of lava fish? They're Does this mean fish. we can fish in Netland? Yes, but I've got some friendly advice, travelers. You should be very careful while exploring Ochkanatlan. Some of the abyssal monsters here can distort their appearance to mimic powerful enemies. High-level monsters such as the tenebrous Papilla can mimic even stronger enemies. Huh? It looks like these. Oh, that must be what the, the new boss for Auroron's materials. Yep, that's true. That's the actually really cool. A freaking lines, a boss monster that can re take over a bunch of different like smaller enemies them. and bo Travelers what and boss elemental attacks. Oh my god, that's actually so freaking cool. Boards. I actually so like that boss. That is such a cool boss. Them to enter a brief state of confusion. I will give like I will give Genshin credit where credit is due. That is a cool ass boss, right? This has gotten so advanced. It's scary to think about how much harder these fights will get if these abyssal monsters continue to evolve. Yeah. We went straight to bosses. Okay. We didn't that even was see a lot of information yeah, to it take was. in at once. But before we take our first break, we still have a couple of short announcements. Okay. Really short, I promise. First up, limited time expiration rewards will be available in version 5.2. Just like in version 5.1, travelers can earn up to 400 extra primo gems. And the rewards will be available all the way through version 5.3. Okay. Yeah. It's now time to introduce the event wishes. In Let's go. Half of version 5 Lenny. Travelers can look okay, Chaska and Aurora in Chaska this one. Perfect. Perfect for me. Aurora will also receive a drop rate boost. I don't and need in Lenny. The second half of version 5.2. We'll have a return. Zhang Li and Nuvalet. The weapon banner will feature a new five star bow. Astral okay. Plumage, and two That's actually really good. Four star weapons. Be sure to check them out. Two new four star weapons? Okay. All right. It's time for our first. Break. I'm saved, boys. I only need to summon on Chaska's right banner. I honestly thought I was going to summon on more than just Chaska. All right. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it's like the best so far, but hey, you know what? I really dig it. That new boss, that new boss is probably my favorite boss now. It's just from the mechanic alone. I like that mechanic. I think it's really, really cool. Um, Chaska looks absolutely sick, nasty. Did I, did I post this right? Uh, L M X S D two four three. Okay, I did. But yeah, that new boss looks sick, nasty. 
And uh, Chaska looks dope. Auroran looks okay. Like, I don't think I'm going to be going around, like, trying to make him the best he can be. But, yeah, three new areas, which sucks for me because now I have six areas to get 100% before uh, 5.3. So, yeah, that's what's going to suck for me. Sit lolly. Welcome back. Oh, look at that Welcome sword, back. though. Straighting to the event. The calamity of issue. So oh my God, bro, that sword looks so sick. That's why I posted That's the code right. to Lob. I posted the code in chat. Spirit seeking scrolls. That's why I posted it in the chat so that you could see it. and Aurora to get to the bottom of a mysterious accident. That, that sword is tribe. sick, Travelers though. Travelers will need to complete combat challenges to defeat enemies who try to disrupt the ritual. They'll also need to reconstruct... Sorry if I can't see the code. I just posted scrolls. it in the chat. Together, Here, I'll post it again. ...scattered throughout the region. Travelers will only be able to uncover the truth if they collect all go. the clues. But don't worry. There are also various rewards to earn along the way, including primo jams. Ooh, I really like the vibe of this event. It looks like Sitlali is performing some kind of ritual. It's also mysterious. When a situation gets tough, it's Granny to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Sitlali and Aurora. God, she's have so some amazing. Really I love her. Dialogue in this event. <laughs> I'm always grabbing the popcorn whenever these two interact. They're practically a two-person show. And speaking of fun, let's get into the event gameplay. First up is the Search for Lost Spirits minigame. Travelers will have to work together to herd oh, scattered it's, it's roaming spirits this one. into okay. specific zones to earn but points. But we're working together and instead of against each other. on the field if you want a higher score. Okay. For example, travelers can jump on stone slabs that appear on the field. These slabs will break open and release even more spirits. Okay. Storms may also appear during the game. You can track down spirits more effectively if you pay attention to the direction of the storms. In Evil Banisher, travelers will need to select the right teams to complete the objectives. Completing all of the objectives will looks just like the feast one that we aura, just did, which allows you to deal AOE damage by spraying paint at enemies. That paint really matches. Dude, the we're playing the Splatoon in Genshin it's Impact. Super cool. Yeah, and so does the Spirit Loom in restoring fragmented records. Sitlali will use her powers to reveal special fragments. Travelers will need to piece these fragments together and assemble them on a woven scroll. Hmm. Make sure uh, that you pay attention to the order and positions of the fragments. Oh, there's something else that we should mention. Bro, that sword Travelers looks so cool. Travelers can obtain a new four-star sword by completing this event. Why does it look like... Oh, because it's not a five... It's not, uh, the masters it's of the not fully it looks like some leveled up. kind of ceremonial artifact. That it's sword totally looks agreed. so cool. Oh, and this event will allow travelers to learn more about. You see that secrets. that purple one For is example, when it gets to uh, new um, about a mysterious like, and legendary. Yeah, place, when it gets to the the, the, the resin fire wow, or whatever that is called. about this place since Mondstadt. It'll be nice to get some new information. Mm -hmm. On a related note, the Adventures Guild has prepared a new trial. Oh, look for at its that members. Karen art or Catherine Active art. Adventurers have been invited to take on the challenge, including the traveler. Travelers will need to complete various challenges with designated characters and fully leverage their skills to earn rewards. I know you're up to the challenge, Travelers. Good luck. In Mondstadt related news, okay. the Knights of Favonius are conducting a war game to improve security tactics in the region. Okay, are and they going to be fighting Sumeru? These tactics than the honorary knight. Be sure to pay close attention to the game since the format has changed at this time. Travelers will need to select combat units and stratagems to deploy against the opposing formation. Once the We're playing Pokemon set, the again, boys! Will fight automatically. Playing Available Pokemon combat again. units and stratagems are completely random. You know, just to build some unpredictability into the war game. The chances of encountering elite combat units increases as Bro, the war game progresses. Even more elite monsters will be available for travelers to use. It's a volatile environment. So do okay. your best to win as many rounds as possible, earn war game medals, and collect the rewards. I like that one. All right, let's keep the excitement rolling in this next event. We actually have a demo, so please take a look. Okay, what is it? Oh, looks like they're selecting tactics. Double damage? That sounds powerful. Whoa, it's automated. Cool. The elemental reaction effects are completely different. This brand new heated battle mode is called Automatic Artistry. Powerful support cards have been added for nearly every elemental reaction. Oh, I don't want to play it. That align with your strategies to trigger powerful elemental reactions. 
the effects will change depending on how you play. In addition, the overall gameplay is very laid back. Characters will automatically duel each other and skill animations are now shorter in length. Wow, it's like we got a whole new Genius Invocation TCG after coming back More from Genius Land. Invocation. Talk about Whiplash. <laughs> That's right. Even if you've never played Genius Invocation before, I really recommend checking out the I might check out the automa automatic stuff because then the I don't actually have to play it. also bring a few updates Ooh, to Zarya card? Genius Hello. How you doing, baby you girl? You a little cooped up while you're playing card games? Look at well, Rosaria's booty. Our next event mm. will give travelers the opportunity to enjoy the great outdoors. In Claw Convoy, travelers will need to help Lamia track down some adopted animals. Travelers will be able to see the animal's point of view by using a special tool. Oh, it's Once this event again. To deduce their location, this was like back in to track three point down. something. Once the animals are I safe think? and sound, travelers will receive a gift from the mysterious figure who adopted them. I feel like Oh my really god, it's a this event. The Hu Tao doll <laughs> is so damn cute. I'm sure that he would jump at the chance. The Hu Tao doll. Yeah. Is Finally, adorable. The Leyline Overflow event will return in version 5.2. If you need Mora or character EXP materials, then keep an eye out. All right, let's dive into some updates and game optimization. All right, let's hear it. First up is the change to the Imaginarium Theater. Previously, travelers would be returned to the theater lobby after completing a challenge and have yeah, to we just the experienced that. Yep. Tome to continue. Travelers provided feedback that this setup interrupted their experience. So this will. I did no not like this event. Are you talking about imaginary theater? Or are you talking about now, the uh, scene through battle, the animals? All you need to thing. do is click next to act. If Thank you. Want to you. Keep fighting. Nice. Thank travelers you. Can now enjoy the thrill of combat without any interruptions. As and it for should all have been. the generous travelers who like to configure supports for their friends, a supporting caster record has been added in the new update. You can now check which friends have borrowed your supports by looking at the supporting caster screen. Cool. It'll be nice to know that our supports are helping people out. Well, yeah, yep. but at the oh, same time, and the party configuration mechanic has also been optimized. The animal thingy, yeah. Besides fair. elemental filtering, the Imaginarium Theater will now feature recommended row icons, elemental statistics, and markers for the main types of enemies. That is so helpful. I'll occasionally put together a random team if I've just started experimenting with some characters, but this information should make it a lot easier to form strategic teams. These markers will display key information on how to counter enemies, but in a much more prominent position. Hopefully, this change will make it easier for travelers. This is a nice change to Imaginarium Theater. Yes. It makes it dummy proof. Now we can directly see which elements work. It best makes it to where like people enemies. who have no That's idea what they're doing definitely going to save some time. We'll know sure. what they're doing and because they'll just be like, "Oh, this is good." In the future, it's colored yellow. It's going to be great. Valuable feedback about their experiences. Okay. Let's introduce the other system optimizations coming in version 5.2. Artifacts, baby! You can now sort five-star artifacts in your inventory based on when you obtained them, from the most recent to the oldest. Second, Let's go. the animations for crafting materials, forging weapons, building furniture, and cooking dishes are now shorter. Thank enough. God! That's really nice. Shaving off seconds. The designed a lot of intricate animations for these features, but it can feel a bit frustrating when you have to watch them over and over again. There will also be several optimizations for the Serena teapot. The seed dispensary can now hold more of every type of seed. You'll be able to purchase wood at the Realm Depot in exchange That's for That's a Realm good change. Currency. In addition, the cooldown for the boon of the Elder Tree will be reduced to 5 seconds. This way, it will be easier for travelers to collect wood. Awesome. I've been meaning to use some cool replicas in my Serena teapot, but I'm always short on wood. So this should be really Ladies helpful. and gentlemen, he's nice. lacking I'm wood. I'm so excited for you. Oh, and optimizations have been made to artifact locking. The updated lock assistance interface will allow you to configure lock settings with a single click. Okay. Just hit, use recommended settings and you're set. The recommended set lock plans will even update automatically based on popular in-game configurations. Of course, okay. if you have your own ideas in mind, I can then you I can, can dig that for the most part. The recommended plans to configure custom ones instead. The update also allows you to batch lock artifacts in your inventory based on the recommended general lock plan and set lock plans. This will make it much faster to organize your inventory. There we go. In addition, I dig a it. shortcut button that navigates to the lock assistance interface will be added to the artifact domain challenge. That's going to make it easier for me to actually get rid of artifacts. Screen. 
This should make it easier for travelers to configure their locking rules whenever they want. A star feature will also be added next to the lock button on each artifact. Travelers can use this feature to mark their favorite artifacts and filter by If star. that is your favorite Quickly artifact, I, I worry Finally, about you. Treasure compasses will now be able to locate even more treasure locations, including Sealies and time trial challenges. As it should have. A swap feature will also be added for treasure compasses and Oculus Resonance Stones. Enabling this feature will allow travelers to more easily use these devices across regions. The feature will automatically these needed switch to, to the happen or stone that a long time ago in the game. Awesome. Be sure to check out future announcements for more details on the version 5.2. Good job on those optimizations. Those are really All good. Right. That was a lot of info. So this seems like a good time for our second break. It's time for the third redemption code. The third and final redemption code. Okay. So there's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I will give credit to Genshin. Um, a lot of the events that they have are really, really good. And I'm very excited to try those out. However, there are a couple of events that seem to be kind of uh, donkey duty. Uh, the animal eye event thing, I never really was a fan of, but I do remember it. Oh, Rami already beat me too. But yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff coming coming with this version. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the better, or not the better. This is probably the best Genshin Impact update live stream in a long time. I don't see any issues arising from the optimizations. And I don't see any issues with the characters. Welcome back, travelers. What else do we have on the agenda, Gabe? We have some very exciting news to share. After the version update on November 20th, travelers will be able to play Genshin Impact on the Xbox Series X and S. We finally Log got the release Genshin date! Impact on Xbox Series X if you have an and Xbox S Series X, to receive the Wind you'll be able to play Wings of Fate's Course Intertwined. Additionally, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members can play Genshin Impact via cloud gaming. They'll also find extra rewards in their so they get mailbox. So they get their awesome. own glider? All right, that should be everything. That means that we've reached the end of the special program. They get their own glider, Is but there PC don't. Anything that you want to say before we go, Kai? That's cringe. Yes, I'm really looking forward. I'll to link my account to Xbox just so Chaska I can get that glider. And her weapons seem really incredible. I'd love to see how her tribal chronicle unfolds because she has such an amazing personality, and Auroran seems like a very layered character. The storytelling is definitely. Got one amazing. more announcement. What about you, Gabe? Yeah, Xbox. I'm just so excited for our players to experience more of the Natland storyline, and we have so much to explore this time. I mean, two new tribes and a new area as well. And yeah, basically one thing I've always loved about Genshin Impact is how it's multi-platform. Like I'm always logging in on different devices depending on where I am. So it's just exciting to see another platform become available for everyone. Fair. Yeah. And um, yeah, on that note. Now I Xbox players can leave me alone. Version, travelers. Bye. Bye. Is that really it? Let's see. Is that it? Looks like it. All right. So very, very good live stream. I will honestly say that was a very, very good live stream for Genshin Impact. Uh, a lot of things that I felt could have been a little bit different, but you know, it is what it is. It's very short. Uh, it's all, if, To me, it's always better with the voice actors, but you know, it is what it is. We don't get that option, uh, especially with the strike as of late. Uh, but yeah, we got Chaska. We got Aurora on coming. Fantastic. Rerun banners are going to be uh, Lenny, which I'm like, eh, whatever. And then phase two rerun banners are going to be Zhongli and freaking Nouvellet, which is insane. That's really, really good. Um, very good banners. Events, for the most part, look really, really good. We get a free four-star weapon. Looks pretty dope. In this update, we're getting four new weapons. One new five-star summonable, two new four-star summonables, and one free-to-play uh, four-star uh, weapon. So that's pretty cool. Three new areas. Um, so if you haven't gotten your exploration done, you're going to hate your life because now you got six areas to really get your exploration going. New world quest that's going to be a uh, mainly puzzle-centric. So I'm not very excited for that, but it is what it is. Um, 
And yeah, outside of that, Xbox players finally get to play Genshin Impact. <laughs> Welcome. You also get a glider that none of us get. So hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. You know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out, obviously, Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs is my fantastic sponsor. We're trying to get to where we can sell our own cup. So I need all of you. I need at least like 7,452 of you uh, to just buy something right here, right now. We got the Amelie drop that just dropped. We also have the, uh, we got the new Pixel Cup coming out later today. I'm just saying. So anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Love you all to death. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.